Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today uh, we are going to talk about some boxing techniques. Uh, they are very used by the athletes from Cuba. Before that, subscribe the channel, write your comments, give a like and share the video. Okay? So, the boxing athletes from Cuba, they won a lot, a lot of gold medals or silver medals from medals in Olympic Games and World Championships with a plan that worked. The plan was punch and then you go back or you go inside and then punch again, go back again, always like this. And they they won a lot of points and then of course they won boxing fights, the, the world titles and the uh, Olympic medals. Always with the distance control. Always controlling the distance. Why? Because to strike an opponent, to, strike, to, to punch an opponent, okay, uh, you can use a front punch and you will control the distance. And if you control the distance and then you go back, you're, you're not going to be hit, okay? You're not going to be hit. So always controlling the distance, it's very important. For example, for the uh, left, uh, left wounded, so you are here in your in your guard, okay, and your opponent is here, and then of course I can, for example, use only a jab, okay, only a jab like this, and then I go back, and then I can go, for example, left, and then use here a sequence, for example, and then I can go the other the other side, and then three three punches now, and then I use always like this, jab, I control the distance, then. Another sequence using always, always like this. And the goal, the goal is to strike, to punch, and not to be punched. That's the goal. Always with a lot of footwork. Always you have always to move your legs. Always because if you don't use it, it's not possible. So. The boxing athletes from Cuba, they had always this kind of training and this plan worked because Cuba won more titles and medals than the other countries in boxing, okay? And uh, just uh, I'm going to show just for the right-handed, okay? The right-handed. So I'm here in my uh, position. And here it is, uh, my opponent. And then, for example, I execute here a jab, and then I go back, and then I use a sequence of two punches, then I go, three punches, and then I can use another sequence, for example, now four punches, and always controlling the distance, okay, like this. So, punch, not to be punched. How? Using footwork. Using footwork. You can go back, you can go right, you can go left, or you can spin. Okay? Both sides. So, this was the strategy of the boxing athletes from Cuba. And they won a lot, a lot. That's the reality. But you can transfer this for the self-defense. This concept for the self-defense. Why? Because if you are going to defend yourself from someone, then that's a plan. So 
you're gonna punch and you are not going to be punched okay that's the goal so you can use the footwork and your uh, your punches and sequences okay and then you hit and you are nothing to be hit okay punched you are not going to be punched that's the goal always with a lot of footwork okay footwork is crucial okay so conclusion conclusion the boxing athletes from cuba had a, a plan a training plan that worked uh, in the olympic games and world championships and they won a lot of titles and medals okay in both competitions more than the other countries with always this kind of plan punched and not to be punched using a lot of footwork a lot of foot a lot of strategy and always looking for an opportunity to strike and gain points and gain points then you win boxing fights titles and medals that's the way it is and you can transfer this to the self-defense context and it's very important because if you are going to defend yourself you must punch the other the other person and not to be punched for example okay always using a lot of footwork that's the goal always controlling the distance why because if you control the distance you're not going to be punched okay you must see that of course if the guy is short you can control the distance easy easier with um, it's more easier okay but if the guy is a tall guy okay he's gonna reach more with his arm then you must go back to control more the distance okay for example this is very important because it's a concept of a winning a winning uh, winning method because it worked it worked for, for the boxing athletes from Cuba it worked and you can transfer this to the self-defense the circumstance so you can use it for example uh, of course you must remember this and you must train practice uh, the footwork and the moves the boxing moves and then it can work in a contest of self-defense okay well that's my message for you and see you next time